Hello everybody, here is IT news on Hetman Software channel. In today's issue, you'll see how electronic cigarettes can help hackers, the glasses to replace your laptop, a new 144-core CPU by NVIDIA, zoom in lenses, and another attempt to hack Microsoft. e-cigarette as a way to hack your PC. The device invented to help people give up smoking appears to be not so safe as expected. You wouldn't believe, but the seemingly harmless e-cigarette can be used by bad guys to hack your computer. Most e-cigarettes are powered by a lithium-ion battery that has to be charged from time to time, and this can be done easily from your computer's USB port. There are visible advantages to that. You don't need to carry around a dedicated charger, and the charger from almost any other device with this kind of port can be used for vaporizers as well. But if a special piece of electronics is implanted into the cigarette, it can make your computer think that this little gadget is actually a keyboard which starts sending certain commands to your PC. Another aspect and where your security is at risk is how e-cigarette can be used to intercept your internet traffic. Many users have already experienced such attacks and posted corresponding videos on YouTube. It is your choice to believe it or not, but whatever you may think, just follow simple security rules, install latest and device software, use vape and gadgets only after you read the manual, and always remember to replace their disposable elements when they need to be replaced. One more fix to feel more secure is to charge them from wall sockets instead of USB ports. Remember, even a single hacker can do lots of damage. The glasses to replace your laptop. Engineers from Nemo Planet claim their mission is to put a tiny, powerful multi screen computer into your pocket and make it possible to work from anywhere. With this gadget, conventional computers will become history. Nemo is a mini computer you wear on your head and it gives you six virtual screens to work when you are away from your workstation. With all that, Nemo looks better than most smart glasses. It runs on the proprietary Android-based operating system called Nemo and is powered by a platform built around the integrated Qualcomm Snapdragon XR1 CPU. Nemo is designed to have Bluetooth keyboard and mouse as its main input option. The gadget doesn't support 5G and LTE, but is compensated by Wi-Fi connectivity. The device only weighs 120 grams. As to the 720p displays, they might seem too small, but they are the scale equivalent of large 45 to 50 inch screens. The whole system is supposed to work about for about two hours and a half on a single charge, but the developers promise to extend its battery life soon. So far, this gadget is not meant for high performance applications, but you can feel quite comfortable with stuff like Microsoft Word and its rivals. The glasses will come with a carrying case that can be used as a charging station with a built-in battery, similar to many wireless earbuds. NVIDIA has presented a new hopper architecture and a powerful H100 compute accelerator based on GPU GH100. Also, the company disclosed some details concerning a product officially announced a year before. It's the Grace processor. To begin with, the picture they showed us a year ago was a motherboard with a Grace CPU on the left and a GH100 GPU on the right. Back then, Nvidia didn't say anything about the graphics part of that combination. So, what exactly is Grace? In fact, Nvidia doesn't say much on this matter, but takes some time to describe what they call Grace CPU Superchip. As a matter of fact, this is a combination of two similar processors joined by an NVLink C2C new generation bus with a throughput of 900 GB per second. And Nvidia says this combination uses 144 processing cores in its top configuration, so it logically means one CPU can have as many as 72 cores. Other features include LPDDR5X memory controller with a throughput of 1 terabyte per second and 396 megabyte of cache and the ARMv9 processor architecture. 
Other features include LPDDR 5X memory controller with a throughput of 1 terabyte per second and 396 megabyte of cache, and the ARM V9 processor architecture. Yet, even Gray's CPU superchip is not the top of Nvidia's line in this segment. At the presentation, the company's CEO showed possible configurations including this chip, and the most impressive one was made of a single gray CPU and two Hopper GPUs. One could only guess how much power this combination may draw, but we know that the gray CPU superchip with the memory models needs at least 500 watts. Generally, if we are not limited to configurations based on a single board, NVIDIA technologies let you combine a CPU superchip and 8 Hopper GPUs. Great CPU superchip is clearly designed for using data processing centers involved with artificial intelligence infrastructure that needs absolutely number-crunching compute power. The company says that solutions based on Great CPU superchip will be available for sale in the first six months of the next year. Zoom in lenses. Evidently, this news will inspire everyone who have to wear contact lenses. A research team from University of California, San Diego have created a pair of soft contact lenses able to zoom the picture in and out by tracking your eye movements. To zoom in and have a closer look at something, you only need to blink twice in a short period of time. However, things are not so smooth yet. The technology needs to be improved as the zoom feature only works as long as you wear a piece of special equipment on your head. On the, on, on the one hand, such lenses are a good thing to have if you need to make out the number on an approaching bus or a road sign. But on the other hand, accidentally blinking twice while you are driving may result in a traffic accident. To create smart soft contact lenses, scientists measure the signal generated when eyes move in a certain manner. For example, when you look right or left. The soft contact lens reacts to electrical impulses generated as your eyes move. This means that the lens knows you are looking right or left and can perform the function linked to this specific kind of movement. However, in spite of the fact that the lenses are unlikely to be improved in the nearest future, this development opens the way to new opportunities and further technological advances. The lens itself is made of salty water enclosed in a pair of electrically active polymer film coatings and is controlled by fine electrodes positioned around the eye. Lenses can change their structure when electrical charge is applied to the polymer film layers of the lens, and it allows you to zoom in or out of the picture by blinking. Because of the multi-layered soft polymer used to make the lens, a relative change in the focal length uh, can be as large as 32%, which sounds very impressive. However, the smart lenses were created not as a ready-to-sell commercial product, but rather as a demonstration of the potential of such technologies to end our life in the nearest future and make it easier. Microsoft confirmed its internal systems hacked and source code stolen. Recently, Lapsus Hacking Group has hit the headlines after targeting internal systems of NVIDIA, Samsung, Vodafone, and others. Now the victim list also includes Microsoft, that has confirmed a single account had been compromised and a part of source code for some of its products had been stolen. The Microsoft report says they have been watching Lapsus activities for several weeks, which helped them learn more detail on the methods used by the hackers to compromise accounts belonging to various companies. As reported by Microsoft Threat Intelligence Center, the hacker's main goal is to gain privileged access to internal IT systems of their victims in order to steal their data and use it for further extortion. This is not the first time that Microsoft confirmed some of its source code had been stolen. Previously, the code was stolen by hackers after they had launched a large-scale attack on SolarWinds software. The Lapsus Group admits it only managed to acquire 90% of the code for Bing Maps, whereas that number is around 45% for the code for Cortana and Bing itself. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next IT News video. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets.
Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.